Hi all, um, here's a quick video on how to enable your printer that's connected to your router to be accessible from your uh, Apple computer. In this case I have the Asus WL600G router that has USB connection to access the printer server as well. And I have the um, Mono Laser Printer, Brother HL2040. And as you've seen in some of my, some of my other videos, I have an Apple Mac Mini. And so I'm going to take the camera tripod. Um, the um, Asus WL600G has an USB connection over here that connects to the um, back of the Brother HL2040. Okay, now I have uh, fired up my Mac Mini. I've gone to the system preferences and selected print and fax uh, preference. And then as you can see, my Brother HL2040 has been configured here. And keep in mind that printer does not have network card in it on its own so that's why it needs to connect to the router via USB in order for it to be my network printer. Um, assuming, um, sorry if I, for uh, example sake, uh, if I were to configure it again, uh, I would have clicked plus here. Alright, I'm going to bring that um, add printer window right into view on camera and protocol leave it LPD, line printer daemon, and put in the address as your router's address. In this case, it's the uh, 192.168.1n1. You know, the computer will be able to check. That's a valid and complete address. Put in the name and put in the location. Say you wanted to put a uh, living room or something. Um, typo. And then the print using, you need to select here, select printer software and then a pop-up window will appear. So again, I'll bring it into view as well. Okay, over here. And in this case, just type in brother HL2-2040 uh, So you can just select this one, the CUPS version 1.1 scenario. You just click OK out of that. Okay, and the next bit is the tricky bit. That is the queue name. Okay, uh, in this case, the queue name you would have have. Um, um, uh, I mean, I have this one already available as a selection LPR server. But if you configure it the first time, you wouldn't have it in that list. After you're done with that, you click app, and you're done. Okay, but I'm gonna go. I'm gonna spend the next uh, one or two minutes just quickly show you how I can get that LPR um, server name there in the queue. Uh, okay, now you're looking at my uh, Windows XP based laptop and the reason why we need Windows I think is just that uh, I don't know if it's uh, for other um, manufacturer of routers as well, but for that Asus model it only guides you uh, through Windows computer so it doesn't really cater for Mac and the Mac computer itself does not have the capability to find out the queue name unlike Windows so once you follow all the instructions from the manual and the router uh, Windows somehow find out the queue name itself and so the other things is that after you um, install it in your mm, Windows computer you right click on that um, uh, on the printer and faxes and you select properties on the right click menu and you should see this window appearing okay and you go to um, the ports tab alright and you should highlight this one the one that you already selected uh, I did this again via the, I mean, by the manual of Asus, right? And then after I find that, I get configure port, okay? And configure port here, and this one has the queue name populated as LPR server, okay? So you get that name, and you then put it into your um, Apple computer, and it should just work, okay? Um, so, yep, I uh, hope it helps, and do post questions if you have any, and thank you for watching.